This is Daughter of Christ, and this is the story of an Iranian musician. His name is Mahdi Rajabayan, and it was told by the BBC on the 20th of January. He was sent to prison for making music. And it began in 2013, when the Islamic Revolutionary Guard raided his office and shut down his studio and confiscated uh, his material. And the reason for that is uh, he was uh, distributing music uh, deemed offensive to the Iranian authorities and the country's religion. So now we ask the question, which religion is this that the article failed to mention that finds music offensive? It is the religion of Muhammad. And we know that because of the hadiths that mention singing and music. So let's have a look at the first one. This is from Sunan Abi Dawood, hadith number 4927. Notice that it's in a whole chapter, which I've highlighted, a whole chapter disliking singing and playing wind instruments. And it's saying, uh, Salam ibn Miskin, quoting an old man, witnessed, by, uh, witnessed Abu Wa'il in a wedding feast, he said, they began to play, amuse, and sing. He united the support of his hand round his knees, and he heard uh, Abdullah, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud say, I heard the Apostle of Allah say, singing produces hypocrisy in the heart. Muhammad thinks singing is bad and produces hypocrisy. And all they were doing were amusing themselves and singing, nothing else. Now let's have a, a look at another hadith where Muhammad talks about musical instruments. This is from uh, uh, Sunan Abi Dawood again, hadith number 2556, and it is a sahih hadith. Abu Huraira reported the Apostle of Allah saying, the bell is a wooden wind musical instrument of Satan. A musical instrument of Satan. Now let's have a look at the punishment of uh, people who are involved in music. And again, it's uh, a Hassan Hadith from in Sunan Ibn Majah 4020 in the chapter of punishment. It says, people who are involved uh, in playing musical instruments will have Allah cause the earth to swallow them up and turn them into pigs and monkeys. Turn them into pigs and monkeys. Now, first of all, this is ludicrous. Have you ever seen anyone being turned into pigs and monkeys? But in any case, the kind of, this kind of punishment shows how much Allah is displeased with singing and music. Is, that, is this why that poor Iranian musician was punished, put into solitary confinement and sentenced to years in prison? We as human beings have been given the ability to express ourselves in beautiful, creative ways like singing and weaving together of musical notes to convey meaning and emotion. What, so what kind of religion is it that hates to see the image of the creative God reflected in his creation? Expressing ourselves in this way reflects the very nature of the God in whose image we were made. It cannot be the God who has created us who hates music and uh, musical notes and singing. Rather, it's the enemy of God, Satan, who hates to see this. And that is the truth, Muslims. The one who is behind the, these strict Islamic rules is the one who hates humanity and hates life. It is Satan. What a shame, Muslims, that if you truly fo uh, follow this life-hating religion, you're forbidden from singing. You'll bury any musical gifts your children are born with and you'll never know the joy of playing an instrument. Satan has silenced your singing voice. But as followers of Christ, we know the real God, and he's not offended by musical notes. He's not offended by singing, because he created all of it. So we can worship God in song, with all instruments, without guilt, but with joy. Just like the psalm says, Praise the Lord. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord.
Praise the Lord. Amen.